Welcome everyone to the Turkish Super League Highlight Show. It's hard to believe it is the last round of the season. So who will come out as the champions? We are going to let you know right now in a few minutes time. All right, let's hear what we have for you coming up on the program. The title race. There were three teams in contention for the Turkish title. Galatasaray, Istanbul, Başakşehir, and Besiktas. Who would be the team to raise the trophy? Also, remember the top two teams going to the Champions League. The top two teams in the standings go to the Champions League. So who would be the gold medalist and the silver medalist going to the Champions League? And of course, the best 11, not of round 34, but of the entire season. Do you agree with us? Hit us up on Twitter and let us know. But we begin looking back at round 34 with the matchup between Istanbul Başakşehir and Kasim Pasha. Just a quick correction. It was Başakşehir Fenerbahce and Galatasaray in contention for the title heading into round 34. Eric Krakauer, are you ready? Definitely more ready than Basakshahir was at the start of this game. Kasim Basa scoring early. Iporiano, the center back for Basakshahir, loses Ildiz, the scorer, after the Kasim Basa man takes an outside run across his marker. And then Emre would foul Mbai Dian for the spot kick. Not sure about that, but the Senegalese would step up and put it away. Calamity at Fatih Terim Stadium. Right, Dian with his sixth goal in the last three Turkish Super League matches. He has 12 since coming over from Chinese football in the January transfer window. He has been sensational. So Kasim Pasha up 2-0 until Adebayor sets up any Vizca. Emre with a searching second post pass to Adebayor, who in turn finds an unmarked Bosnian Vizca. Vizca, who usually sets up the goals, scoring one there. So it's 2-1 at this point. Equalizer, 36 minute. Uh, and Adebayo in the right place at the right time. The easiest goal of the Togolese's career. Look at this howler from Ramazan Koza, undoing all the work Kasim Pasa had done early on. It was 2-2 at this point, halftime, second half. Oh, what a great chance missed by Adebayo. Just gets under that ball, but he'd get another chance here. Brought down by the captain, Vizal Sari. No doubt about this call. Missed times his tackle. Emre, the captain for Basakshir, steps up. Oh. But it's redemption time for Ramazan Koza. Emre coming up small there as Ramazan Koza comes up big to make the penalty save. 2-2 at this point. And then the former African Footballer of the Year with the go-ahead goal. Completely unmarked. Has time to bring the ball down and strike it hard. 3-2 is the final in favor of Basakshi here. They end the season four wins out of five. Another big match of Besiktas with Cenk Tosun in the building. And he left too soon for yeah. this team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but a man who always is on time. Anderson Talishka, 29th minute go-ahead goal for Besiktas. Kailara attracts three defenders and Talishka has the goal at his mercy. And then it would be the Canadian, Laren, who would score the second 6-2. Almost impossible to mark, bigger than the goalkeeper. Oh, like Kyle Laren, the former Orlando City man, with a goal and Besiktas up 2 0. But Siva Sport, the beneficiary of some shoddy defending, and they're going to pull one back thanks to Hakan Arslan. The chaos in the area there. Ball is crossed in and not properly dealt with by Babel, and then Hakan Arslan jumping onto that loose ball. Then there's a red card here for Delvin Nadinga. Two yellows in consecutive minutes for dissent. Stupid reaction from the Sivasport player, letting his teammates down. So Kyle Aaron, opportunist as ever, scores another one, threading the needle into the corner there. Uh, cool Kyle Aaron, Canadian international, making a 3-1 at this point at the Vodafone Arena. It's about to be four. Anderson Talishka getting involved in this play here. Ball over the line into the back of the net. But it doesn't go to Talishka. It's Laren who gets credited with his hat trick. <laughs> Ball off his cheek. You don't see that happening very often. And then Talishka over here with a threaded ball to Babel, who copies Laren with that eye of the needle stuff into the corner. 5 1 for Besiktas. And Besiktas. Coming into this match, they had won seven of the last eight. Make it eight of the last nine. It wouldn't be enough to give them the title, but still a strong finish for Besiktas. Coming up next, the eternal rivals. 
until the end. Fight it out toward the last minute of the season as Fenerbahce hosted Konya Sport and Galatasaray were on the road at Gostepit. And then the rest of the round 34 action, including Osmanli Sport trying to avoid the drop. Turkish Super League highlight show continues after the break here on BN Sports. Welcome back to the Turkish Super League Highlight Show Round 34 Recap. The next team to pick up three points against Karabuk Sport was Trabzonspor. At the Şenol Gunish Sport Complex, Trabzonspor on the banks of the Black Sea. And Eric Krakauer, this was just, I guess, target practice for Trabzonspor. And one player who needed it was Damian Doy. Two chances here spurned by the Ford. A third would come up later. Trips here and then skies it over the net. But this would be the worst cross into his oh. run. Goal at his mercy into row Z. But the goal would come. It would be from João Pereira, the Portuguese, popping up in an unfamiliar spot and finishing off the play like a seasoned poacher. In the 65th minute, João Pereira making a 1-0 for Thrapson Sport. Back on Christmas Eve, they played to a 1-1 draw in Carapuc. This time, it would not be a draw. And Doy, he says, you know what? I can't score, but I'll pass to a man who almost scores there, Yusuf Yazici. Delightful dink from Yazici. So unlucky. But he'd score here, thumping this ball in, frustrated that he didn't score that beauty just before. And Doy is in an offside position, but he lets the ball roll. And Yazici with that cultured left foot, no chance. Oh, what a great player Yazici is. He has certainly been a revelation this season for Thrapson Sport. 3-0 at this point, Joao Pereira with a brace. He has passing options, but the Portuguese says, I don't need you. Two goals. Well done, Thrapson Sport pick up the three points. They finish in the top five at the Bachi Shehir Okulari. It's Alanya versus Antalya, two southern teams. Going at it here, and a lot of goals in this one started in the 12th minute thanks to Yev Milan Yevtovic. Yevtovic's shot deflected over Haydar Yilmaz, as you'll see here. Find that tackle. Lucky break there for Milan Yevtovic. It's 1 0 for the visitors of Antalya Sport, but Alanya Sport get an equalizer thanks to Dulash. Gorgeous curling cross from Emre Akbaba just asking for that final touch. Douglas gets there. And then the goal here from Lucas Villafanes, usually a provider rather than a finisher, skips past his defender with his first touch. 2-1 at this point in favor of Alanya Sport. Make it 3-1. Douglas getting a brace here again with a great goal. And that's what happens when you don't mark a player during set pieces, looping the ball over Evrim Odench, Ozench, rather. Natalia Sport captain just completely letting Dublas free there for the header. So it's 3-1 at this point, second half stoppage time. Eric, we see a lot of goals in second half stoppage time. And we get one here, Suleiman Dukara. Maikon turns his defender and then slams a shot off of Johan Juru, ex-Arsenal. Ball falls to Dukara, who does the rest. Big victory there for... Alanya Sport. All right, Yeni Malaya Sport versus K City Sport. First goal, 22 minutes in. Rahman Chagiran rips a daisy cutter past Sylvia Long Jr. What a great goal there by Chagiran. All right, 16 minutes later, the side in their first ever Turkish Super League season. Well, it's about to be two Turkish Super League seasons. That's because of a goal here by Emmanuel Denning. A heavy touch. In the back line allows Malati Sport to break. And then a bit of fortune as Denning's shot comes off Sapuranu. So 2 0 at this point. It's going to be three. Adam Buyuk, Kalibuteyev with the assist. Back line in tatters. Yeah. Open goal. Unselfish from Khalid Putaib with the assist. Talk about a back line in tatters. Kayseti Sport, four straight losses entering this match. They've lost seven of the last eight. They do pull one back thanks to Nikola Dojilkovic. And it's a crafty little touch here after the pass from Ryan Mendez just over the goalkeeper. Just enough. Here we see a comeback. Ryan Mendez 
so often the catalyst for Kaizeri Spore scores a second, but too little too late. And 3-2 is the final for Yeni Malatya Spore as they finish the season with a victory and they will remain in the top flight pretty comfortably as well for the team's first ever Turkish Super League season. Well done for Yeni Malatya Sport. In Akhisar at the Sport Toto Akhisar, it's the Turkish Ch Cup champions Akhisar versus Osmanli Sport. They needed three points to try and avoid relegation. Didn't look good though. Hasan Ali Adiguzel. Beautiful strike inside of the foot, measured into the upper 90. Oh, look at the technique on that. Doesn't follow through, just chips it there. And it's 1-0 for Akhisar. Big save here on the first chance, but then Furkan Uzal, whose child, I should say, is there to finish it for Osmani Sport. Good save on the Anil Karayar shot. The rebound over here to the right, and then Uzal just beating the goalkeeper at the first post. But it would be Kizar Sport that would get the winner. Lovely interplay and triangulation from the boys in green, silver platter serving for Celik. So the Turkish Cup champions going to Europa League next year, win it two to one over Osmanli Sport. Osmanli Sport going down. The other Ankara side going down is Jeshler Brili. They took on Bursa Sport at home. The Ankara Undukuz Maya Stadium. Peter Skulicic with the first goal. Whose many misses may have cost Jenshe Brili this season. Jumping higher than everybody else. And then excellent save here by Mohamed Sengizer taking over for Harun Tekin. Courage as Elvis Manu is barreling Ooh. towards him and actually fouls him. So one nil is the final for Jinshler Bili. They're headed down to the second division. Osmanli Sport, Jinshler Bili and Karabuk Sport going down to the second division. Going up, Riza Sport, Ankara Guju and Erzurum Sport winning the playoff to get to the top flight. Two Ankara teams going down, one going up. We have a lot of pronunciation yeah. work to do <laughs> in our future. And Karabukspor, well, the whipping boys conceding so many yes. goals. Let's all say together, Erzurum Sport. We're gonna practice that. All right, when we return, we'll take a look at those eternal rivals, Galatasaray, Fenerbahce, down to the very last match. Who would become the champion? Find out after the break here on BN Sports. So Istanbul Bashakshi here picked up the victory. That means Fenerbahce needed to win. No other result could do for Fenerbahce. They needed a victory at home against Konya Sport. Here at crack hour, a festive atmosphere, a hopeful atmosphere at Ulker Stadium as Fenerbahce, maybe the hottest team in the league coming into this match against Konya Sport. Eight wins, one draw on their last nine. They've won seven in a row. And it looked like it was going to be eight in a row thanks to Fernando. The Brazilian on a hot streak. How about this headed assist from Roberto Soldado? The big Brazilian doing so well in the last few weeks. You know what I'm saying? Vai, vai, vai. Come celebrate with me. Six minutes later, oh, Shalim Ai with an own goal here. Not good for Cunha's score. That's a great diving header. Yeah. <laughs> Soldado fighting for the ball. And then it's Osbaracli with the cross on the right. Look at that. Too bad it's on the wrong goal, and he'd be getting in trouble again. Ooh. This time for fouling Ferdinand down, getting very grabsy with the Fenerbahce striker. Excuse me, ref, I didn't hear what you said. Yeah, look at the jersey pulling there. That's a clear foul by Salim Ai. So stepping up to take the PK, Ferdinand Dow using his body. Great skill there by the Brazilian. It is Bobby Soldier, Roberto Soldado bearing it. And had he showed this kind of form earlier in the season, perhaps they yeah. would have done better. Fenerbahce, of course, still competing. And here, Morike Fofana. Woo! A rocket into the corner. Every time I hear that last name, Fofana, I keep thinking that scene in Trading Places. Fofana, 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 Faha. I'm sorry, that's an 80s reference. Anyway, Konya Sport get a second goal here, thanks to Adis Yahovic. Not as prolific as he was with Gostepe but his goals were crucial to Konya Sports' survival, as well as Samuel Etus, for that matter. So 3-2 is the final for Fernerbahce. Jeering at the end with news 
of something happening in the Galatasaray game. So Bashak Shahir won and Fenerbahce won. That means Galatasaray, the only one of the title contenders playing on the road, had to win, pick up a huge victory in Izmir against Gostepe. How would they fare? Galatasaray coming into this match, 2-0 winners versus Yeni Malatya Spor. They won five straight coming into the game. Gostepe coming off the 1-1 draw at Konya Spor. Galatasaray, 20 league titles. Fenerbahce, 19 league titles. So, the Nerbahce fans were hoping Gostepe could give them a little bit of a break. But a great chance here for the home side. Muslera make the save. Selçuk Chayin with the shot. Gostepe very good at home. They could be party poopers. Afetemi Gomez here with the shot. Good save by Beto. Arguably one of the top three goalkeepers in the Turkish Super League this season. That ball takes a little deflection. Excellent hands and chest from the Portuguese. So it's nil-nil after 42 minutes. Galatasaray fans, the fans of the Lions, were a little nervous until this one. Was this a penalty? What do you think, Eric? Milos Kosanovic, as you'll see in the replay, getting very close to the Frenchman. Gomez, a little bit of a hand to the side, but it would have been a soft call. The right decision from Shunet Shakir, the famous Turkish referee. 65th minute, Yuto Nagatomo with the servants inside for the, the soon-to-be gold, Krali. And this one is a penalty here. Kosanovic again got away with the one before. Clear foul this time. Who would take this penalty? It would be Bafa Demi Gomez. Putting it away, taking the responsibility. Lots of courage from the big forward. Let's not forget that he missed two spot kicks consecutively. Yes. Before taking this one. Ooh. Beto gets a hand to it. And let the celebrations begin. Fatih Terim, <laughs> the emperor, proved the key ingredient for the yellow and reds. Yeah, Galatasaray winning the match on the banks of the, the GNC. And they win in 1 0. And they get Turkish League title number 21, their first league title since 2014 2015 season. And they ended it with a bang. Yes. They'd had some slip ups. Igor Tudor was fired. Fatih Tanim, as I said, the Emperor comes in, steadies the ship, and it all starts clicking from there. They were able to get it done, despite the fact that they drew Fenerbahce scoreless in, their both, in both league matches this season. So they were able to get it done. And how about this for Fatih Tanim? As you mentioned, the Emperor, the King of Galatasaray, and the Lions moving back to the top. Well deserved for Galatasaray. They get title number 21, and Fenerbahce had a chance to get title 20 and level with them. They're gonna have to wait a couple more seasons to get that. And just think, how often do we see leagues coming to the very last yes. match day with three teams having a run at the title? Galatasaray finished the season with six straight victories. We look at the stats, second in the league in goals, but 17th in goals conceded the defense bailed out by the goal crowd and all those great goal scorers. Shaky at times, and particularly away from home. Formidable at home, racking up 16 wins in one draw and improving substantially away from home after Fatih Tarim replaced the departed Igor Tudor, who's now at Udinese in Italy. Yeah, Fatih Tarim, it is his seventh Turkish Super League title as the manager of Galatasaray. We look at the standings. Galatasaray in first place go directly to the group stage of the Champions League. Fenerbahce, they're going to have to go through the third qualifying round of the league path in order to get to the group stage of the Champions League. And you saw those top four teams during the season separating themselves from the teams in the middle of the table. Traps on Spore with some pretty unremarkable performances sometimes during the season, especially without their big striker right. in Burak Yilmaz. Gostepe, as you saw, doing very well. And then Osmanli Spor, Jenshed Birli, and the Whipping Boys, Karabuk Spor, getting relegated as we saw before. Konya Spor with Eto and Yahovic managed to avoid relegation. The goal Krali is Bafet Tembi Gomis with 29 goals. The last Galatasaray player to win the goal Krali was the man who's in second place, Burak Yilmaz, with 24 goals back in the 2012-2013 season. We look at the team of the year, and Eric, what do you see here? What do you like, dislike? What are your thoughts? Well, of course, we're going to see Bafetimi Gomez up top. 29 goals in 33 games. 
Rodriguez on the left, dynamite on that side with nine goals and 11 assess, assists, took off in the second half of the season. And then Talishka, for me, my pick for player of the season, the Brazilian was not only a creative force, but a goal scoring threat, particularly with that left foot. And he's off to greener pastures. We still have to find out exactly where that is. But I'll tell you what, George, Giuliano, who's not in that 11, so central to Fenerbahce, who suffered when he was injured, may feel hard done. 14 goals and five assists. Congratulations to Galatasaray. They pick up their 21st Super League title. They will be in the Champions League group stage next season. A team that is always winning is the extra team. They do it big on BN Sports every Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. in the East, 4 p.m. in the West, with so many great features and so much more about the beautiful game on the extra, 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific. And then following the extra on Monday nights and Friday nights, it is the best football debate show on earth in the solar system, the locker room with Kay Murray and the crew. That's 7.30 p.m. Eastern and 4.30 p.m. Pacific here on BN Sports. I want to say thank you very much for watching the Turkish Super League highlight show all throughout the season. Big up and much love to our producers, Sergio Espinosa, Adriana Matamoros, Maurice Davidson, and Eric Krakauer for helping me out as well. Big up and much love to y'all, and thank you for watching the Turkish Super League here on BN Sports.